Hello students, good morning to all. In my previous video, I had gone through your second semester syllabus. And in today's session, I would like to go through a short fiction entitled A Visit of Charity by Eudora Welty. E-U-G-O-R-A, Eudora Welty. This is your first lesson under Unit 1. And page number is 85 in your textbook. Okay. Before going to the story, A Visit of Charity by Welty, let me go through introduction of the author. Look at here. Eudora Welty was an American short story writer. Her literary career took off with the publication of her first story, Death of a Traveling Salesman in a Literary Magazine. So she was an American short story writer. What is her first story? Death of a Traveling Salesman. Next, she was a prolific author and wrote stories in multiple genres. Her stories often portrayed relationships between individuals and their communities. Welty won numerous awards. Yes, she got many awards for her work, including the Pulitzer Prize. Here, look at here. Spelling, what's the spelling? P-U-L-I-T-Z-E-R. R silent. Pulitzer Prize in 1973 for her novel what's the novel name the optimist's daughter yes she awarded a prize for this for her work now let me go through the story a visit of charity tells the story of 14 year old Marian and her visit to an old lady's home Marian is in a youth development organization in America called Campfire. And one of her duties which will earn her extra points is to visit a home for the elderly. During her visit, she reluctantly spends time with two elderly healing women and discuss they live in cold, uncomfortable rooms and suffer from loneliness. Look at here. What's the story? A visit of story tells about this. A Marian. So she is 14 years old. She belongs to Youth Development Organization in America. She is called as Campfire. Yes, got it? So here, what in the story, what Welty was saying about Marian that this girl, campfire girl, actually unwillingly she had visited an old lady's home. Look at here, reluctantly. What is that? Reluctantly, unwillingly she had visited an old lady's home. Actually, she visited here. To earn her extra points. To earn her extra three points. Instead of consoling them, instead of caring those old women in this lady's home, she had visited this home for to earn her three extra points. Yes, reluctantly spends time with two elderly healing. What is the spelling? A I L I N G. Ailing woman. What is that? Illness. Ailing. What's the meaning of that? Illness. And what she had discovered. Look at here. They live in cold, uncomfortable rooms and suffer from loneliness. Yes. Anyway, it's correct. They live. They suffer from loneliness. Okay. Now, let me read. Marian panics at the sight of their grief and instead of consoling them, just now I had discussed, instead of consoling them, she's here, she is very selfish girl. 
Okay, look at here. The story portrays how the meaning of charity has changed from caring for and trying to help others to trying to earn points or keeping up appearances. So instead of caring, consoling these old ladies, she is trying to earn her extra points. Yes, Marine is trying to earn points. So she had visited this old lady's home and look at here it makes readers contemplate the motives people have for performing acts of charity as even the nurse who is expected to be compassionate is indifferent to the elderly woman's sufferings so look at here actually what is charity here, actually what is that? So consoling or caring or trying to help others. So it's that. But here, the totally the meaning of charity has changed. And even the nurse who is expected to be compassionate, what is that loving? But here, even she is money-minded lady. Yes. Instead of caring those women in the home just for money, she is just taking care of them. Now coming to the visit of story, charity story, a visit of charity story. Okay, look at here. What are the pre-reading questions in your textbooks? What they had given in your textbook. Have you ever tried to help someone in need? Why or why not? Next, second question. Describe your relationship with your grandparents. Third, have you ever visited a home for the aged? If you have, how did you feel when you interacted with the elderly people there? Yes, these are your pre-reading questions. Have you ever tried to help someone in need? Yes, yes or no? Yes, mostly we, guys, we try to help someone in need, mostly, yes? And describe your relationship with your grandparents. Yes, very lovable, yes? We care them, we console them, yes? Next, have you ever visited a home, yes? For the age. Okay, now let me go through the paragraph. Look at here. It was mid-morning. A very cold, bright day. Holding a potter plant before her, a girl of 14 jumped off the bus in front of old lady's home on the outskirts of town. She wore a red coat and her sight straight, sorry, straight yellow hair was hanging down loose from the pointed white cap. All the little girls were wearing that ear. Look at here. It was mid morning. A very cold, bright day. A girl, who is she? Marian. Just now I had discussed. Yes, Marian. So, she jumped off the bus in front of old lady's home. And here, description of this, yes, girl. She wore a red coat and her straight yellow hair was hanging down loose from her the pointed white cap. Yes, all the little girls were wearing that ear. So she wore white cap. She stopped for a moment. Yes. She got up from the bus in front of old lady's home. She stopped for a moment beside one of the prickly dark shrubs with which the city had beautified the home. And then proceeded slowly toward the building which was of white washed brick and reflected the winter sunlight 
like a block of ice here describing about the home yes what is that the building the old lady's home which was which was of white washed brick made up of lime and reflected the winter sunlight like a block of ice as she walked vaguely up the steps she shifted the small pot from hand to hand yes she marian actually she 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 was holding a potter plant yes while going to the home she had taken a pot yes then she had to set it down and remove her mittens before she could open the heavy door look at here so anyway she started towards that home with her potter plant look at here i am a camper girl i have to pay a visit to some old lady so she guess she had gone to this home old lady's home there she was saying marian was saying i am a camper girl i have to pay a visit to some old lady so i need to visit some old lady she told the nurse at the desk yes at the receptionist office yes this was a woman in a white uniform yes here describing about nurse she, she is in a white uniform she was in a white uniform who looked as if she were cold she had close cut hair which stood up on the very top of her head exactly like a sea wave describing about the nurse she had close cut hair which stood up on the very top of her head exactly like a sea wave so compared her here her hair close cut hair it's a short hair so the compare like here it's compare like a sea wave marian the little girl did not tell her that this would visit would give her a minimum of only 3 points in her score so actually here marian she did not say about her extra points gaining of extra points to this nurse yes just simply she says that i would like to visit some old lady i'm a camper girl i had come to this home to visit some old lady yes in this way she says to to that nurse yes okay she said that nurse now acquainted with any of your residents our residents ask the nurse she lifted one eyebrow and spoke like a man so here what is the meaning of acquainted knowing with any of our residents she lifted one eyebrow and spoke like a man here the nurse she spoke like a man so she knows the people around her guess neighbors are in in her in her area so our residents actually she knows them so she asked that marian who are you because as if she knows the nearby students or nearby people local people but here nurse was asking marian who are you yes she lifted one eyebrow and spoke like a man with any old ladies no but that is any of them will do marian stammered with her free hand she pushed her hair 
behind her ears and she did when it was time to study science next the nurse shrugged and rose you have a nice multiflora cinerarea what is it once again i'll read the spelling of this c i n e r a r i a cinerarea what is this actually it is potted plant colorful flowers yes the potted plants have colorful this plant has colorful flowers multiflora cinerarea yes marian was holding this potted plant so nurse was saying very nice she remarked and she walked ahead down the hall of closed doors to pick out an old lady now this this nurse and this marian yes both of them yes they moved to the old lady room there was loose bulging lelo lenoleum on the floor what is that actually it is a material used especially as a floor covering okay lenoleum l i n o linoleum l i n o l e u m yes on the floor marian felt as if she was she were walking on the waves see so marian here just describing about her her uh, what is that uh, the way of her walk and how she felt when she was walking on the floor she felt as if she is walking on the waves but the nurse paid no attention to it there was a smell in the hall yes here they describing about the house old lady's home there was a smell in the hall like the look at here interior of clock everything was silent until behind one of the doors an old lady of some kind cleared her throat like a sheep bleating what is that it's a weak cry this yes sheep sheep or sheeps or goat weak cry yes this decided the nurse stopping in look at her one second i'll show everything was silent until behind one of the doors an old lady of some kind cleared her throat like a sheep bleating yes one old lady an old lady she spoke like a sheep bleating yes she cleared her throat like a sheep bleating this decided the nurse stopping in her tracks yes then the nurse stopped over there she first extended her arm bent her elbow and leaned forward from the hips all to examine examine the watch strapped to her wrist then she gave a loud double rap on the door yes now she knocked look at here the nurse so she knocked the door yes actually old lady room look at here there are two in each room so in each room two ladies are there the nurse remarked over her shoulder to what asked mariam without thinking so mariam was asking to what the sound like a sheep splitting almost made her turn around and run back so actually old ladies so their voice so their throat so the sounding it's like a sheep splitting okay weak 
cry of sheep or goats is it clear so as they are old just their sounds their voice it's resemble like that so she marian thought to just go back from go back yes she wants to run back from that home because actually unwillingly she had visited this home so she is not going to adjust in this environment she is very panic towards this home even she don't like to stay at there one old woman was pulling the door open in short gradual jerks and when she saw the nurse a strange smile forced her old face dangerously arrive look at here a w r y arrive what is the meaning of that unexpected see look at here so this whatever that nurse and marian so they entered into the room so they just knocked the door the door then one old woman just she opened she open in short and gradual jerks one old woman was pulling the door open in short gradual jerks and when when that old lady when she saw the nurse a strange smile forced her old face actually they are old so a strange smile face yes because they are unexpected actually nurse and marian so both they yes they want to visit the old lady the old lady's home yes room yes so it's unexpected for those old women in that room so it's a strange smile forced her old face dangerously it's a dangerous yes marian suddenly propelled by the strong impatient arm of the nurse so next the side face of another woman now marian at last she saw another woman yes in the entrance of the room she saw one old woman yes and uh, this old woman she was very she she gave a strange smile because it's an unexpected to that to that old woman and next she saw another woman even older than former former even older than previous old woman who was lying fly, flat in bed with a cap on and counterpane pain drawn upon drawn up look at here drawn up to her chin so here two old women are there in this in this room yes first old woman yes she is old and second woman even she is somewhat older than the first woman yes totally two old women are there in that room visitor said the nurse so marian said the nurse and after one more look at here shaw what is that shaw spelling i'm going to read s h o v e shaw she was off up the hall marian stood tongue tied just yes, she closed her mouth both hands held the portrait plant so yes anyway marian had potter plant in her hands yes she closed her mouth because it's a uh, by seeing this two old women so she, actually she is unwillingly she entered into the room yes so she stood tongue tied because she is not interested at all just she stood tongue tied yes she closed her mouth yes the old woman still with the terrible square smile which was a smile of welcome stamped on her bony face was waiting 
perhaps she said something the old woman in bed said nothing at all and she did not look around look at here actually here at last marian entered into the room so by seeing these two old ladies she closed her mouth because she did not like all that whatever the old lady's voice yes the first old lady the way of her smile yes okay and here the other old lady she saw other old lady yes second old lady see the old woman still with a terrible square smile stamped on her or her bony face was waiting perhaps she said something so first old lady so she had given some smile so some welcome smile yes whereas the second old lady in bed said nothing yes here first lady the first old lady she gave something some smile something maybe it said a uh, forced smile or something smile she gave a smile of welcome but the second old woman who was in bed she said nothing when these when when they saw when she saw this marian okay is it clear so at last nurse showed marian a room in the room two old ladies are there yes first old woman she gave some smile a strange smile yes it's a, a smile of welcome because even they are they are they are in surprise it's an unexpected visit and next the second old woman she was in bed said nothing to marian okay if next suddenly marian saw a hand quick as a bird claw reach up in the air and pluck the white cap of cap off her head so suddenly marian saw a hand just she compared that hand as a bird claw so plucked the white cap of her head so actually she had a white cap so the so a hand just plucked her white cap from her head at the same time another claw to match do her all the way into the room and the next moment the door closed behind her see look at here ma so one hand she saw one hand just uh, uh, plucked her white cap and another hand just pushed her into the room next anyway she entered completely she entered as these old ladies just pushed yes pulled her into the room at last she came into the she had come into the room marian had come into the room next my 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 said the old lady at her side so here first old woman just she was saying the old lady at her side so she was saying to marian just look at me look at me because they are very curious about this marian because they are living very what is that lonely life so if someone any new person they enters into their room they feel very happy and it's an unexpected to them yes so they have different types of uh, views on that yes girl or anyone marian stood enclosed by a bed so now marian stood enclosed by a bed a wash stand and a chair yes here marian stood enclosed by a bed a wash stand and a chair here in the room there was a bed wash stand and a chair so she stood near to them the tiny room had all together too much furniture so it's a very small room but with too much furniture okay here describing about the room everything smelled wet even the bare floor so so what's the uh, what's the room marian felt as if it smelled wet 
she held on to the back of the chair which was quicker and felt soft and damp so describing about the furniture chair which was wicker and felt soft and damp what is wicker it's a made up of twig and what is wash stand actually used to hold a bowl for the purpose of washing hands something yes what is damp wet is it clear d a m p damp now her heart beat more and more slowly because new to her it's new to mariam so slowly slowly her heart beat yes started more and more her hands got colder and colder and she could not hear whether the old woman were saying anything or not so she was in such a mood that even she can't uh, able to listen whatever they are saying yes she is unable to listen their words she is in confusing mood yes she was in confusing mood she could not see them very clearly yes because doors because door is closed and right now she is in confusion yes situation and whatever the furniture whatever and just she was uh, staring at the room and just uh, all the furniture etc etc are in that room and the room was very small and with that too too much furniture and with two old ladies how dark it look at here how dark it was the window shade was down and the only door was shut so windows what are they are shaded maria looked at the ceiling it was like being caught in a robber's cave just before one was murder so maria what she was feeling as if she was caught in a robber's cave yes this is her expression marians the view of marian so door is closed and here the windows they are shaded and as if uh, marian felt as if she was caught in a robber's cave is it clear look at here one second i'll show you robber's cave it was like being caught in a robber's cave just before one was murdered okay is it clear now coming to the next did you come to be our little girl for a while the first robber asked see here first old woman was compared with robber did you come to be our little girl for a while the first old lady asked then something was snatched from marian's hand the little potter plant here the first old lady try is trying to talk to this marian and she snatched whatever the potter plant whatever the marian was holding in her hands so the first old lady she had snatched that little potter plant from marian's hand flowers screamed the old woman she stood holding the pot in an undecided way pretty flower she added what she was saying about that potter plants yes where they are very they were very pretty flowers yes so here the first old lady was talking to marian yes whatever the potter plants you had bought here they are very pretty then the flowers are very pretty now coming to the next then the old woman in bed cleared her throat and spoke now the second lady here the old woman in bed she is second lady 
they are not pretty she said still without looking around but very distinctly look at here actually in this story the first old lady she is somewhat better she is trying to speak and she is trying to speak speak some positive words with that marian but whereas the second old lady she is very older than first one even she is not willing to talk about uh, about the whatever about the flowers the potted plants what she was saying that they are not pretty actually clearly she did not see that but even though she was saying that they are not pretty she said still without looking around but very distinctly so she was saying rudely your flowers whatever the flowers they are not pretty next marian suddenly pinched against the chair and sat down in it pitched against the chair and sat down in it it's not pinched ma it's a pitched p i t c h e d pretty flowers pretty flowers the first woman in insisted pretty 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 marian wished she had the little pot back for just a moment she had forgotten to look at the plant herself before giving it away what did it look like so actually the first old lady guess she had taken she had taken the potted plant from marian's hand so marian wished to have her pot back yes see here she had the little pot back for just a moment because marian she don't like whatever the first old lady yes she had done yes the first old lady had picked up her potted plant yes is it clear actually the first old woman she had taken her potted plant marian's potted plant but this marian actually she don't like that so she thought to have her pot back yes is it clear now look at here now right now second old lady now she is about to speak look at here stink weeds so what the second old lady what she was saying about that flowers one second stink weeds s t i n k stink weeds said the other old woman sharply yes she had a bunchy white forehead and and eyes like a sheep red eyes like a sheep look at here second old lady she had a bunchy white forehead and red eyes like a sheep describing about second old lady actually she she was in bed yes okay she was talking negatively negative words with marian look at here because she said she said that that potted plants whatever the potted plant flowers whatever that they are, these flowers were not pretty and she compared that potted plant with stink what is that stink weed so it's a weed potted plant now she turned them towards marian the foginess foginess seemed to rise in her throat again and she bleated who are you now the second one just rudely she was asking who are you actually 
she did not see the potted plant clearly but she compared the potted plant with stinkweeds and now she was asking who are you she bleated what is that it's a sheep or goat voice it's a we cry of sheep or goats sound yes she bleated who are you to her surprise Marian could not remember her name because the second old lady she was talking like anything just she was talking rudely so even the Marian she could not able to remember her own name yes in such a way in such a rude way in rude manners the second lady was talking to Marian then Marian was saying i am a camphor girl she said finally so actually there are uh, in that room there were two just yes, two ladies two old women in that room first old lady she is somewhat good as compared to the second old lady the second old lady she was uh, she was in bed yes and the first old lady she was sitting in the chair actually the first old lady actually she is the one who just yes, somewhat she gave some welcome smile to marian and she uh, she spoke something positively with the marian whereas the second woman the second old woman who was sleeping in the bed she was rudely she was speaking rudely with this marian and finally even marian could not able to remember her own name yes in such a way in such a rude way she was started her introduction whatever her conversation with this marian who are you she was asking marian who are you so finally she said i am a camphor girl 